We're headquartered in the middle of Kendall Square, which is the dynamic biotech hub that's making Boston thrive as one of the centers of biotechnology and discovery in health and medicine. So what this company was built to do and what Patients Like Me is about is allowing every patient that's going through a disease to learn about what might have worked or not worked or the path or the journey of every other patient that's ever experienced their condition or their conditions or their combinations. If it's a common disease like you know, depression and you want to find someone else to talk to that might be near you, you can find them. That might be important to local. If you have a rare disease like AKU, you actually just want someone else in the world that's your age. We're filling this really important gap where you, if you have a problem, you can connect to the person that can solve that problem for you right now. At the end of the day, you have to really do something that wows people. People have to love something. So we actually have this uh, internal engineering process called WOW. So uh, you'll see here about, you have about eight weeks of work that is project-based, specific, and then every seven, six, seven weeks or so, we say to the whole company, except for the business team, do whatever you want together for a week. Form a team, collaborate, and build whatever you want that you think is going to help people. We do videos for the website, podcasts for the blog, uh, podcasts for business purposes, um, uh, you know, audio of a presentation so people can learn about science. All of that's done here. One of the challenges of um, trying to be as transformative as patients like me is to really make medicine about the patient, not about the system or the insurance company or the doctor or the government, but about the patient is, um, you know, you have to invent really hard technologies, invent a lot of them. Uh, this is an award that came to us from Technology Review to Paul Wicks, who's uh, actually leading our British operation right now. And uh, he actually won Humanitarian of the Year because he was the guy that helped us take this technology of, that we've been developing and, and really bring it to formal scientific objectives. How do we make the, the, the drug companies and the, and, the, and the physicians and the payers and everybody make sure they're advancing and understanding the unmet need, the problems that need to get solved? Because we don't measure them. If we don't measure them, we can't solve them.